Hi, everybody. My name is Jason Weithorn. I work over here at Velazio and I'm responsible for the CRM practice. When I think about the CRM practice, a lot of times the way I describe that is that entire end to end customer journey, thinking about your own experiences and how customers and company or how companies have engaged with you around marketing, sales and service. Right. That's kind of that realm of that CRM. I want to talk to you today about a particular topic of interest, and it seems like out in the market, we're getting a lot of questions from customers around that. And one of that is that kind of that idea of measuring success and driving continuous improvement with Dynamics 365 sales. And a sales organization, as we know, right, I mean, the challenge there is, is a lot of times we just have a lot of data entry, right? We have that in part because you know, sales leadership, executive, they really need to understand the kind of the state of the business, the potential for new bookings, the revenue that might be coming down. So there's a lot of reporting that needs to happen out of that. And as a result, fairly or not, right, we've got sales organizations, sales people that are spending an enormous amount of time doing that data entry, right? And, you know, that just takes away from being at the heart, what a sales rep is, right? That's a problem solver. Someone who can get in front of a client and understand really what's going on, those challenges, those pain points, and really trying to help provide a solution around those things, right? And the more time we can give back to them to do that, right? Then we continue to have continuous improvement around that kind of operations using dynamics then to kind of support that. And we do that, right, with some of the new AI and co-pilot capabilities, right? Getting that kind of hyper automation where we can automate a lot of that data entry, uh, automate, you know, a lot of the creating, you know, PowerPoints and proposals and automating and summarizing things around uh, meetings and, hey, listen, I, I'm going to get in front of a customer and I need to you know, understand a little bit about what's going on in the service side and asking Copilot to summarize over the last month some of the cases and things like that so you have some of those insights, right? On the flip side of it, right, when we think about that continuous improvement also with Dynamics 365, it's, it's, it's really about deploying it in the right way to make sure that you can also take advantage of AI and all the other rich capabilities that Microsoft is trying to reach, reach out with. Right. And a lot of times what we've seen with customers that come to us saying, hey, listen, I need help, is that they've over customized Dynamics 365 for sales to the point that it makes it really difficult to maintain, to manage. And you can't take advantage of some of the new capabilities that Microsoft is deploying. So for us, it's really kind of doing that C shift in terms of how to help our customers think operationally and process wise so that we can kind of reshift how the how Microsoft Dynamics 365 sales has been configured and deployed. So those things become a much lighter lift and those capabilities, all that investment in that platform really comes to light for you. So it's at the end of the day, it's, it's really turning it on so that you know, you get the most out of that tool, but also operationally taking advantage of those capabilities so that your salespeople can do the things that matter the most when they're talking to their clients. If this sounds of interest and you want to learn more and talk, then reach out to Velazio and we'll, we'll certainly have a conversation, talk about some of the challenges that you're having and how we can help you out. Thank you.